And <clears throat> we are getting back into our attempt to form Jerusalem as Provence. And right now we're super in debt and we have about 10 rebels going on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Plus two rebellions already popped. Um, so the beginning of this session, I imagine we're mostly going to be squishing rebellions and trying to get our debt under control. Um, hopefully we don't have to take out too many more loans before we're able to stop maintaining our armies. Uh, I think we can go ahead and get rid of fleet maintenance for now. Um, I think we have a fort somewhere. Maybe we don't. Do we have a fort in Provence? No. Um, so that's good. We don't need to worry about mothballing any forts or anything. Let's go ahead and crush these dudes. Uh, okay, we're gaining money now, so that's something, and we don't have access through France. We should be able to get it quite easily, though, as we are allied with them. So let's pick back up our access. That way we can go crush these dudes. Then we're going to have to sail our army. That's what's been killing us in a lot of cases is uh, we have to keep sailing our army back and forth, which has been a, I mean, it's not a lot of manpower each time, but it's definitely enough to be annoying each time. I want to see, I'm just trying to take, take a look to see who will join war since uh, France and Savoy are going at it with Austria and Naples. Uh, what if we declared on Lucca? We don't have a CB on them. Austria would still support them if we declare on Savoy. France would not, although they would barely not. So if we were to declare on Savoy to pick up Genoa or Nice, we would have to win extremely quickly. Uh, which is not something that I necessarily want to worry about doing. So we have two rebellions down there. To squish, um, we have 18k troops there. I think we're actually going to leave these guys up there. Um, I believe this 18k will be plenty to kill these rebels. Should be anyways. France joined the Protest Protestant League. I feel like that's bad because we're not Protestant, but hopefully it won't matter too much. Savoy embraced the printing press. Good to know. We're going to need to get that soon as well, which is going to be very difficult given how poor we are. Royal marriage, definitely royal marriage with France. At least we have a reasonable amount of manpower to work with in terms of squishing all of these rebels. Uh, it's dry lands, okay. <clears throat> Getting a good bit of papal faith, or papal, what's it called? What is the Pope stuff called? Papal influence, that's the word I am looking for. Uh, we need to make some more states. Algiers, probably. I want to make it a state. It has 32 development, so yes. We would like to do that, and we want to core everything up. Uh, we'll give some seats to Parliament. We'll have to figure out what we want to give to Parliament. Uh, we might get a crossing penalty. I think it's not going to matter which way we come from. We'll try coming from this way, or we just get rebels popped on top of us. Isn't squashing rebellions wonderful? Um, it's 12, 10, 13, 13. Um, are any of these provinces reasonable developments? 13 here. Or was our other 13? I think we'll just, oh, it's all, oh, it's controlled by the bourgeoisie, so we can't put it into parliament. Um, we'll put parliament here. Should be okay. Uh, since we reinforce, we will kill these rebels. 
Oh, actually, now we're gonna get a crossing penalty, but if we come around, I believe we shouldn't, if that is possible. We also need to make some more cores when we can. Uh, alliance breaking with Austria, minus 40 desire to keep this alliance. Why is that? We have great relations with them. They don't trust us, like, at all. Can we cash in favors? Why don't they trust us? 33. Hmm. It's pretty awkward. Are they interested in a lot of the same land that we are? Um, let me take all of this interest off for now. Um, I don't know if that's going to help at all. <clears throat> uh, you know what, it's probably, yeah, it's because Naples rivals us and we're allied to France, uh, and they're now at peace. Naples is allied with Austria. Did Savoy get taken off of France? No. Savoy and France are still allies. Looks like they won that war. Savoy did pick up Lucca. Um, I wonder if France would go in with us on Spain. They would. Because <clears throat> I would love to pick up this from Spain and maybe some of this as well. But first things first, we are going to get our loans taken care of and get things actually stabilized because I don't want to be having to squish rebellions while also fighting wars, while also having, like, where are we, like $2,000 in total debt or something insane like that? Uh, yeah, 1974. So that's rough. Let's see, where's our next rebellion? Fazan or Tunisia? Definitely Tunisia, 0.7 years. Uh, where else can we make states? Anywhere? Um, North Sahara. Only nine development there, though. Sickness of the Duke. Don't really want national tax modifier to be reduced right now. But I also don't really want autonomy to go up. Hmm, that's a tough choice. The bourgeoisie will gain loyalty, though, which will give us... Only minus development cost, which we're not going to be developing. I guess we'll do that. Lose a little bit of a tax modifier. So where are these Tunisian guys coming from? Safax and or one of these two places. So we'll march over to Kef for now. Austria broke their alliance with us, of course. Um, let's see, can we pick up any other allies? Venice, the Pope, Congo, hmm. nobody juicy, how's Bavaria feel, we still have Poland, right, or did we not get Poland back yet, who are we allied with, uh, we only have the royal marriage with Poland, and we need to improve relations very slightly, and we should be able to get that alliance back. Um, Savoy already hates us, so we might as well <clears throat> put a claim on them and peace out. Yet another loan that we have renewed. No, we definitely do not want to be paying more maintenance right now. Absolutely not. So, will Poland ally us? Minus, oh, oh, there's zero. So, maybe one more month. Nope, still zero. They don't trust us either. We are not doing very good in the trust department. There we go. We can re ally them. We'll keep improving relations with them to keep them around. They still have Lithuania, they're guaranteeing on Hungary. And Brandenburg is not doing well this game. Pomerania is, though. What the heck? Look at that Pomerania. Ballin. Glorious. They're allied with Russia. That's gross. 
Um, I need another ally that will actually fight the Ottomans with me. It's not going to be Russia. QQ is probably going to be dead by the time that comes. The Mamluks are definitely going to be dead by the time that comes. Maybe like Ethiopia or somebody. If we can get to... Oh, there they are. I um, wonder how they're doing. Naples still hates us. The Portugal ally? Nope. Uh, we can take our next Diplotech. Or we probably want to put this into ideas because we don't want to pay a 20% penalty. So, yeah. And then we can get another colonist here in a minute. All right, we predicted that rebellion. So what is next? Hopefully nothing, really. Um, we're not super close to any, so... Let's kill our army maintenance and actually start repaying these loans so that we can fight again. And it'll give our manpower a chance to get back up as well. Uh, we want to get some missionaries working. Um, we really need to look for another alliance. If only Austria wasn't allied to Naples. Spread of ideas. 65 support for printing press. Or Anjo, which doesn't have a lot of unrest anyway, gets unrest and attacks modifier. I would rather have them pick up some support for the printing press. Although, yeah, they don't have a lot of unrest anyway, so we're already in rebel squishing mode. So we might as well stay in that mode, I guess. <clears throat> Let's see, when can we start paying off our loans? Uh, we can repay this one for now. Naples trade dispute. Uh, we don't want to lose stability, so we're going to lose prestige. Let's see, Congo the Pope. I mean, maybe we pick up the Pope. I guess it's better than having no ally. Well, they have, like, what, one province, so they're not really going to bring anything to the table. Uh, who else likes us? Venice kind of does. Congo? How's the Congo looking? Let's see. Congo has a whopping 12 force limit. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful, Congo. Hmm. That's tough, man. Times are hard. Who's hungry with a bunch of people? Livonian Order still alive? Oh yeah, actually are. Interesting. I'd kind of be cool with allying Denmark. I don't think they're going to, and they certainly wouldn't help us against the Ottomans. The Ottomans are definitely who I'm worried about. Bavaria doesn't like us. Maybe we can improve relations and with Bavaria and pick them up. Um, we rivaled Milan, which is awkward. England still hates us. Heretic religion allied to rival. So that's not wonderful. Oh, <clears throat> France. Our faithful allies are accustomed to come to the war and they're, they're aid in the Dutch War for Independence. Netherlands declares independence. Interesting. They think they can beat France? That seems optimistic. I mean, we're obviously we're accepting. I don't know how much we are going to help. Um, where where are they? They're right here. They're really? What? Are they insane? Why did they declare independence? Hopefully they're... I was assuming that they were going to, like, have people helping them. Doesn't seem like it, though. They have a whopping 7,000 troops. 
Is this, is this for real? Is this actually happening right now? Why would the AI do that? Why would anyone do that? Colonial Ventures. Yeah, we're not gonna be building ships anytime soon, so. Uh, Admin Tech 10 at a 21% penalty. Uh, I don't think that we want to take that anytime soon, and we might as well invest in our discipline. For now, we are not going to be taking military tech anytime soon either. A glorious victory. Sweet. We got two favors. Um, happy day. So let's kill our maintenance again to be making more money. Um, we should actually have our ships. Can we upgrade ships? We need a good bit of money to upgrade them. We'll have to do that later. Protect trade in Genoa. Um, pretty soon we'll actually have... Ooh, we can get our next colonist. Nice, perfect. Let's do that. And I want to start colonizing here. That way we're connected there. Uh, army is the way to glory. Five free prestige. I'll take it. Immoral prices, lose money. Really don't want to be losing money, but um, it's fine. We're doing a bunch more loans. Gain support for the printing press, local unrest. Okay, <clears throat> that's fine. The sooner we can embrace the printing press, the better. Although we are Lots of ducats away from being able to do so. Uh, when does our... Ooh, no debate in Parliament. Let's see, can we get something nice like inflation reduction and in interest? Ooh, national tax modifier. Actually, I think we want that. Nobles demand privileges. We'll lose some prestige. An honorable people. Gain prestige, nice. Uh, they're opposing the issue, lose 10 Diplo, sure. Lose five army, lose 10 Diplo. Lose 17 ducats, okay. So it passes. So we gain money and ooh, Russia on Genoa. I didn't even know Genoa still existed. That's awkward for Genoa. I don't think they're gonna survive that one. Uh, 75. There's one we can hit Lemson again. We also want to make sure, let's see, Urbino. Wow, they're back because Naples had to release them, I guess. Um, sure, Genoa, sure, you can have military access. You are still allied with Austria. You are still allied with France. You are still allied with Great Britain. Should we make any more states? Owl Nail with 13 total development. Where is that? Um, oh, right here. I'm not sure that that's even worth it, although I do want to uh, send missionaries there. So we'll go ahead and do that. Once again, too few seats in Parliament. 11 development, you're already a Parliament seat. 13 will make you a Parliament seat. Does Bavaria want an alliance with us now? Absolutely, they don't. Uh, I mean, Venice isn't gonna give us anything. Well, Lorraine would re-ally us. I might do that just because... Yeah, we'll ally them. Then we can probably... Will they take vassalization? No. It just feels good that we started with Lorraine and now... They are um, our ally again. So who's the Pope? 
France is the Pope. Let's do that. Still 984 ducats away. We're going to be very late to the party in terms of embracing the printing press. Dara, where is Dara? It's got to be somewhere right there. So, put our army maintenance back up. At least we are making some nice gains. Uh oh. Our heir died. I don't remember if he was actually good or not. Hopefully he wasn't good. We have more papal influence. Um, legitimacy is fine. Prestige is fine. So I think we might save up for stability in case we want to pay the Pope for some stability. Um... We can't get a general from the nobility because we no longer have the nobility. I don't want to make our ruler a general without an heir, but we need a general. Two and eight, three and eight. Guess we'll pay for it. Oh, nice. Nice fire and shock modifiers. Um, too bad it doesn't have any siege or maneuver. Uh, who do we want to improve relations with? Actually, we probably want to fabricate on Lemson so we can eat them here in a minute. Um, spy network on you. Savoy. How is it looking? Spain's at war right now, but they're not in like an actual war. Not a war that's going to strain them at all. I don't know that we could win even with Francis help. With Francis help we probably could, but I don't think we're in a position right now to fight any sort of a long war. Um, we're also going to fabricate on the Mamluks for now in case the Ottomans declare on them. We could hop on that war and pick up some more territory. Visit from some shady people. We don't really need the spy networks up quickly, so... Going to take the Prestige. And can we repay another loan yet? No. Um, so these guys actually went away. 4.2 years, 83 years. We're going to kill our maintenance again. And we're going to transport these dudes across for now. Our truce with Lemson ended. Okie dokie. <clears throat> so as soon as we get... Well, uh, let's keep our troops away from the border. As soon as we get this claim, which we should now be able to... 20... Are they allied with anybody? They are not. This should be a very easy war. Um, let's get our morale back for now. And... I'm not going to recruit another general. We won't need two generals for this. Uh, we can also fabricate 6-3, fabricate there. Alright, one more month. That should be plenty of morale to beat a baby little 9k stack there. 13, we're also 13, so that's fine. Um, call you home and we will declare on you let's get these guys going in the right places um, actually let's just have them meet here that should be good uh, holy war <clears throat> We definitely want to do that because we will gain the Crusade bonus and it's less aggressive expansion. So I guess we actually did not need to fabricate on them, but it's all right that we did. Uh, you can improve with allies for now. There we go. We got our Crusade going on. Get them blockaded. 
We did not stack wipe them, and we can't chase them because of their fort. So we'll just attach a siege. We don't have, wait, our leader, he has what, one? One siege? So I guess it's worth getting him in there. Um, actually do it this way. Get our leader in there so he can help us win quickly. Hopefully they have money. I doubt that they have money though. Um, you guys are about to get hit. Are they? No, they're going to back off. We can actually just sit this stack here because we do have the occupation. So, uh, One thing I was going to mention too, for those of you that watch on YouTube, um, I do encourage backseat gaming. So if you guys see me making any mistakes and want to throw out a comment in the YouTube, um, or on YouTube, not in the YouTube, throw out a comment on the YouTube video. Uh, I definitely want to get better at this game. I think I'm like okay at it, relatively okay. Um, certainly not the best, but I would like to get better. Austria no longer gives us military access. So how far away from there? There are negative 999. So they might actually re-ally us after the war. That would be nice. We could get an um, against the Ottomans. The Ottomans didn't rival us, did they? No. Poland, Spain. Hmm. Poland, Spain, and Russia. I would love to see Russia hit the Ottos. French separatists. Up in Anjou. It'd be nice if they just like hopped over, um, hopped over the border and France had to deal with them. Um, Austria on Milan. So this could be a really good time for us to declare in Milan. Do they have not many allies? Yeah. Um, we can fabricate on this. This is exactly why we set Milan to rival last session. So let's see if we can wipe these guys this time. No, we got them. Uh, so that's 99%. Um, grant aid, deny aid, lose 50. And we have way too much admin and I'm, I don't want to take another loan. We're just working on getting our loans paid off. Tunis want, or Lemson wants peace. Well, too bad for you. Will you, they're not gonna accept, I imagine they won't accept full annexation until we actually occupy this province, but we can see. Since they're at 99%, oh, they will. Thank you, nice. Uh, Tunis, Lemson, and Morocco. Well, Lemson, you're dead. So we don't care about you being in a coalition. Tunis has a whopping this province and Morocco, you suck too. So we'll take all their money as well. All right, now we can spend some of this beautiful administrative power. Um, while we're here, uh, okay, we're getting rid of this fort for sure. Uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just kill Tunis. I imagine, yeah, they have no allies. Did that say Spain no longer rivaled us? Uh, Naples and Savoy, interesting. Okay, uh, can we pick Austria back up? Yes, we can. There we go. We are rocking the allies now. <clears throat> and Austria wants us to come into their aid against Milan. Yes! Absolutely, I will come to your aid against Milan. And let me set some of these. Uh, we can't set it as a vital interest because somebody else has already claimed them mm. that is unfortunate 